dry about central and north Otago today. A period of rain tomorrow with possible thunderstorms in Dunedin and north Otago from the afternoon. North the Orland, and Stewart Island, rain easing to a few showers tomorrow morning, then clearing for a time. And for the Chatham Island, cloudy periods. RNZ National, it is eight minutes past five. And you're with Lisa Allen and Checkpoint. This is Checkpoint, Lisa Owen, TNA. It was a wrong turn that sent an into Highland Ferry epically off course. A new accident investigation report shows that no one on the bridge of the Ardateri knew how to override its autopilot system as the ferry hurtled towards the shore shortly after leaving Picton on Friday, June 21st. An interim report from the Transport Accident and Investigation Commission, or TAG, shows the ship had a new steering system and the ship's master was getting familiar with the ferry again after a stint on another vessel. While Ardateri's autopilot was on, the master instructed it to take a vital turn, but the command was 36 seconds late, wrongly sending the ship toward land. When crew noticed the mistake, they tried to turn the autopilot off and manually pull a hard turn away from land, but nobody knew how to stop it. The Ardateri ploughed into the shore. Joining us now is Kiwi Rail Executive General Manager Duncan Roy. Kia ora, Duncan. Why weren't crew on the bridge familiar with a mission-critical element of the ship's technology? Uh, Kia ora, Lisa. So the particular set of circumstances were very, very specific. That ship had done 83 crossings uh, since the new steering was put in, and the single push take control button had worked during then. In fact, did it work the day the uh, Cherry came into Picton. When it was leaving, when it was, uh, uh, it took the um, starboard um, turn. That night, there was a very specific set of circumstances with the rudders being in sync with the steering wheel, and that required the five second override. The bridge crew didn't know that they needed to do that, and in trial, didn't know that we needed to do that. So, that's so you the saying, so pause there because it's really important, Duncan. Are you saying absolutely no one in the organisation knew that they needed to override the autopilot in those circumstances? No one was aware. That's correct. And that's what we're focusing on now is our management of change process. And we're working with our provider to work out exactly how that happens so that we can be better going forward. We figured it out straight away what the attention? issue was. Duncan, and should they have told you when they handed the ship back to you? Should they have said, hey, this is different, it's different now, and this is what you'll have to do? Yes, we, want to, we need to work on our management of change. We need to be better. We need to know what we need to know so we can train it. If we'd known it, we would have trained it. And we fixed the Arateria, and it's done 360 crossings already for today. But now we're working on how we can focus on our change management so we can make sure this does. That's my job, to make sure this doesn't happen again. Right, so whose fault is it that you didn't know that vital piece of information? So as Take said uh, multiple times today in their report, this is complex and we're working through all parties to, to as we go forward and there I've got two investigations, Takes on and Maritime New Zealand is ongoing. So what kind of training will you now do? So we immediately, once uh, before we come back into service,